This video is a live demo of using a Microsoft Teams bot to manage SharePoint Online permissions through AvPoint Online Services. Mick Harris from H3 Solutions provided this presentation at Microsoft Inspire in July 2017, along with Ducks Raymond Sai of AvPoint. The following shows how H3 Solutions is bringing artificial intelligence to everyday work tasks. Working by yourself, that's great, but we have a lot of expertise in this ecosystem. We're very privileged to be working with and, and have partnership with H3 Solutions. And H3 Solutions, they're in the cutting edge of technology. So this is a product from AppPoint. It's called uh, AppPoint Online Services. It's a SaaS-based product where we support Office 365. We provide cloud backup, uh, automated governance, so your users won't just randomly ask for a share or create SharePoint sites, teams, groups, all that. We can help enforce governance. It's there, customers buy it, right? And one day, um, uh, yeah, so this is Apple Online Services. So Mick, Mick hit me up, he's like, hey man, we create something really cool hooking up to your technology that customers love. So Mick, why don't you take it away and kind of walk through why, what the solution is and, and why you came up with it. So what we did was, I've actually been, uh, I usually am in, uh, in with customers, I'm working with them, setting up governance automation online for GAO. And so, you know, practicing, establishing governance, identifying ways that uh, they're going to use it. For instance, uh, I'm sure a lot of folks here at use SharePoint, help customers use SharePoint. You hear a lot about site scroll and those kinds of things. That's what governance automation online is supposed to do. It's kind of give you some boundaries around how you use it. For instance, site provisioning. Uh, right here is basically where I'm able to request one of four types of sites. So what we said was, how can we bring this capability, this level of control, which the C-level loves, the CIO loves, but bring it uh, integrated into where work's actually getting done. So we take kind of a collaborative spin, and using a bot in Teams, we allow users to request new sites via chat with a bot. Now, where does the AI come into this? We wanted to make this really, really easy to use. You could come from multiple angles. I could say something like, I need to create a new site. And using cognitive services, the bot can recognize who you are via Microsoft Graph and isolate down to the type of request to make. So you make it, instead of a 10-step process, it's a three-step process. Uh, also, uh, imagine this could happen in voice in the not-too-distant future as well. Uh, Teams is really, really uh, great for this, and the bot interface can either be a one-on-one -on -one between me and the bot, where I'm requesting this, or I could be in a meeting where the bot recognizes who else is in that meeting and establishes, so like, hey, let's also make sure that all these folks have access to the site, what type of access do they need, uh, via the voice recognition and the speaker recognition and cognitive services. Certain folks can chime in and say, hey, I'm gonna need to be able to upload documents and those kinds of things. And bots are a great way to expose or bring these kind of types of capabilities into where people are doing work. And some of these newer streams like Teams, you can do this in Skype just as easily. And someday, via an Echo, Harman Kardon type voice device, Cortana will all be Cortana. Will all be well. Cortana's the uh, bot. I was thinking more of the hardware. That's right. Uh, but uh, via those types of devices, we'll be doing those kinds of things. So what it's going to do is it's going to recognize. I used Lewis, uh, language understanding, uh, cognitive services. It recognized that when I said, "Can Lisa get to my site?" It figured out that I'm looking for Lisa. Not, it didn't have to ask me, okay, whew. So I reduced the amount of steps I'm taking to get my answer, uh, my question answered. I'm gonna pick Lisa. Now, how did they find Lisa's name there? That was Microsoft Graph. So again, one of the really cool things about Bot Framework is we'll be talking a lot more about over there, is I'm integrating AOS, I'm integrating Microsoft Graph, I'm integrating SharePoint's CSOM, client-side object model, and I'm making it all work together, abstracted from the You'll notice also it picked a site called Kitchen Management. I'm going to get some demos about that over there. Uh, that was using Microsoft Graph as well. So it's one of the SharePoint sites I most frequently use, and so it kind of bubbled up in the graph. And so I'm giving an initial recommendation. Hey, you're probably talking about this. I can say no here and search for a site. I'm going to say yes to keep it simple. Now what it's going to do is it's checking permissions for Lisa, and it says she has no access. So at this point, I can say, Okay, let's, now, I didn't say Lisa, I used the pronoun, she, but 
because I talked about Lisa earlier, the bot's asking, are you talking about Lisa? Just to make sure. Uh, some really cool stuff there. The, the bot framework, building on cognitive services. Again, Lewis was used to understand what let's make sure she can get to the site means. And then I'm using bot framework to basically re reach back to the conversation I just had. So maintaining context is really, really powerful. Uh, while this thing, what it's doing right now is it's working with AOS and establishing an access request, uh, request uh, permissions request inside of GAO. While that's happening, so this is one side of AI that you'll get a lot of front visibility. So end users, this is very end user touching. <laughs> Bots are really, really cool for this kind of stuff. This bot could just as easily be exposed as Skype. You could be in a SharePoint site or just a web browser, just a small chat window. I think we saw an example of that uh, during the keynote. Um, or again, we could be using voice right now. There's a lot of new capabilities coming. For instance, this card system for bots is getting more and more advanced. Right now, I've got simple stuff like yes, no buttons. They're adding a lot of really cool stuff. They've got some more really cool demos uh, in a bit to show on that. Um, and also, they're adding the capability of supplying the text to be spoken in the cases where you want it spoken over a speaker. So then I might say something like, okay, let's give her, and this is what's called a carousel. I'm gonna give her read access. And I'll leave it at that, but you can see right here, a quick prompt. And one thing I wanna add here, who's familiar with SharePoint? Uh, SharePoint? <laughs> I mean, this is so cool, I'm changing permissions on Teams. You're on a phone and say, hey, can you give this guy full control or read or something? That's unheard of. But not only that, it's going through your governance process. Exactly. Yeah. So without taking you out of context, you're basically bringing a virtual assistant in to help you stay in line with your governance process but not make it as burdensome as governance normally is. We hope you enjoyed this demo. We'll be putting out a separate high-quality screenshot version of this in the near future, so subscribe to get notified. If you see a use for bots and automating everyday work using language-friendly commands, get a hold of us. Email us at sales at h3s.co or visit our website at h3s-inc.com.